Welcome to class. I am so happy you're here with me this morning. Come on, let's head to the classroom. Woo, I'm so excited to be in class today. I just can't contain my cool dance moves. Woo. Do you guys remember what we learned about last week? Who loves you? That's right, God loves you. And what can separate us from his love? Nothing. Great job, guys. Come with me and let's head to our very first game. Okay, if you look at the floor, there is a bright pink piece of tape. And look that way, there's another one. Now, you might not have this at your house, but maybe you could put some stuff down to pretend to be tape like a broom or a sock even, but make sure you use a clean one because a dirty one would just smell really gross. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to tell you something to do, but before you do it, you say, King May I? Now you're gonna find out why you're calling me a king and why you're asking if you can do something in just a minute. But first, let's see. We're going to hop three times. Now what do you say? King may I? Yes you may. Ready? One, two, three. Oops, we didn't quite make it to our tape. That's okay. Okay, how about the next move? Let's skip to our other piece of tape. What do you say? That's right, King may I? Yes you may. What should we do next? Okay, ready? Who knows how to do a somersault? I'm a little rusty, but I think I remember. So we're gonna do as many somersaults as we need to get to the other piece of tape. Yes, you may. Okay, ready? Oh no. <laughs> okay, here I go. playing King May I. Um, my head is a little sore and I think I broke my arm, so we're gonna stop the game there. But I had a lot of fun with you. Did you have fun? I'm so glad that you had fun and I hope your somersaults went much better than mine. So today in our story, we're gonna hear about someone who asked a very important question to the king. I can't wait to find out. Well, let's head to our next game. I think we're gonna play with some Play-Doh. All right, everyone, in front of me, I have a picture of a crown. Doo, 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 doo. If you don't have the printout at home, you can draw one, and I'll show you how. We're gonna draw one to look just like this. It's really easy. You can just put a circle, another circle, and another circle. And then you make a line, and you connect them. And ta-da! My very own crown. Okay, but wait a second. These are missing something. What are they missing? They're missing the jewels. Oh my goodness. Every good crown has a bunch of pretty jewels. So I have some Play-Doh in front of me and we're gonna make some jewels. It's really easy. You take just a little bit of Play-Doh, roll it up, and then you can make whatever kind of shape you want. I think for my first shape, I'm just gonna make a big circle jewel. Look how pretty it is. And I'm gonna stick it down onto my crown. There's my first jewel. Now I'm going to make two more. I think I'm gonna use pink, and I'm gonna make these ones a little bit smaller, and I'm gonna make them a different shape. I'm gonna make them into, can you tell me what shape this is? It's a square. I'm gonna put that right there. And then I'm gonna make another square. Today in our Bible story, we hear about a really brave queen. I am so excited to hear about her. Are you guys? 
I wonder if she wore a crown with a bunch of pretty jewels. I bet you she did. All right, my crown is complete. If you guys want, you can color in the rest or you can just wear it like this. So beautiful. Okay, I have one more game for us to play and then we get to do worship and wiggles and then we get to hear about the brave queen. I'm so excited. Okay, come on, let's play with our blocks. We get to build a castle. Who likes to build castles? I know I do, but you should know that when you build any good castle, you have to have a plan first. So here's my blueprint. You guys think that we can make this castle? That looks way too easy. Okay, let's get started. All right, I need you guys to help me. Um, I've made a little bit of a mess. I think that we can just make a plan to use some of the blocks and build a pretty cool castle. So what do you think? I need to start out with a strong base. And use some of these guys. Here, maybe I should go a little bit closer, huh? Then, do that. How do you guys build your castles? Does it look like mine? Now, I'm gonna put this over here. I'm trying to replicate this, you guys. So, I'm gonna put that over there. I'm gonna put this here. Actually, okay. I do this. I have a plan and it's totally gonna work. Okay, ready? I'm gonna go hyper speed and I'm gonna build this castle. Okay, I think I did it. Looks exactly the same, right guys? The reason it looks so great is because we had a plan. And in our Bible story today, we hear about someone who has a plan for us. Do you have any idea who it could be? Nicolas Cage? I think it might be God. We'll find out in our story. But first, you guys need to get up on your feet. All right, come on, yep, get up on your feet. And start wiggling because it's time to go to Wiggles and Worship. Come on, let's go!
Okay, um, hold on a second. Let me check something. Okay, yeah, I have everything we need. So, today's true story from the Bible begins with a queen named Esther. What was the queen's name? Esther, yes, Esther. Now, a queen needs a castle, of course. Hold on just a second. Ah. Oops. There we go. Okay, Esther loved God. She knew that God loved her and had a plan for her. Next, we had a man named Haman. What was his name? Haman, great listening. Haman worked for the king, but he did not love God. In fact, Haman had a plan to do something very mean to Esther's family. One day, Haman told the king, hang on just a second. Haman told the king that he should get rid of a whole group of people. Doesn't that sound terrible? When Esther heard this, she was so upset. The king didn't know that the people Haman wanted to get rid of were Queen Esther's friends and family. They loved God just like she did. Oh no, so sad. Everyone, show me your best sad face. <laughs> okay, what should she do? Esther was scared that if she went to the king, he might get mad at her. But then, her cousin Mordecai came to tell her something. What was her cousin's name? Mordecai, yes. Mordecai reminded Esther that God loved her and had a plan for her. She could trust God. God loves you, Esther, Mordecai said. You're so special. You were made for this. So Esther trusted God's plan. She went to the king and asked him to save her friends and family. And guess what? The king said, all right. Hooray! Way to go, Esther! God had a plan for Esther, and God has a plan for you. Because God loves who? You! Tell me, who loves you? God loves me, yes, he does. God loved Esther and had a plan for her. God has a plan for each one of us. 
I'm so glad to know that God loves you and God loves me. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you for your plan. Thank you for Esther's plan. Thank you for loving us so well. God, we just pray that we would be able to follow your plan. And we just pray that we would always remember that you love us so much and nothing can ever separate us from you. Amen. Wow, guys, that was a great story. I really enjoyed learning about Esther and how she trusted in God's plan and trusted that God loved her. All right, now I have some really fun activities planned. So come on, get on your feet, and let's go have some fun. Who, who, you know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder. Just one more lemon squeeze should do it. Oh, hey friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Poppy, and I'm making something super yummy today. Can you guess what I'm making? That's right, lemonade. I'm helping my clubhouse friends with the lemonade stand. And what do we need for a lemonade stand? Why, the world's best lemonade, of course. My Aunt Ming sent me her best plan to follow. It's her world famous lemonade recipe. I've already squeezed some lemons. So sour. And add the secret ingredient, maple syrup. Mmm, so sweet. And now all we have to do is add one more lemon and some water. Can you help me? Great, let's do it. Let's squeeze this lemon to the pitcher. Stir three times. One, two, three. And now we have to add four cups of water. Can you help me? Great. One, two, three, and four. Great job, everyone. Aunt Ming will be so proud. Now all we have to do is stir it and we'll be all set. I can't wait to try the lemonade. Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Hoo, hoo. Making some lemonade, are you? Hey, Ollie, I sure am. I made my Aunt Ming's best lemonade recipe. I followed her plan and I'm doing everything it says. That's a great plan, it's true. I know about an extra special plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. There we go. Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. Just going over the blueprint plan for my latest project. Can you guess what I'm going to build? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a skateboard ramp. My neighbor asked me to build one for his son. But before I build anything, I always make a plan like this one, so I'll know what to build step by step. Which reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay. So today's true story from the Bible begins with a queen named Esther. Now, a queen needs a castle, right? So, hold on one second. There we go. Esther loved God 
She knew that God loved her and had a plan for her. Now, this is Haman. He worked for the king, but he did not love God. In fact, he had a plan to do something very mean to Esther's family. One day, Haman told the king that the king should get rid of a whole group of people, God's people. When Esther heard this, she was so upset. The king didn't know, but the people Haman wanted to get rid of were her friends and family. They loved God just like she did. Oh no, that's so sad. Show me your sad face. Well, what should she do? Esther was scared that if she went to the king, he might get mad at her. But then her cousin Mordecai came to tell her something. He reminded her that God loved her and had a plan for her. She could trust God. God loves you, Esther, Mordecai said. You're special. You were made for this. So Esther trusted God's plan. She went to the king and asked him to save her friends and family. And guess what? The king said, yes! Hooray! <laughs> Way to go, Esther. God had a plan for Esther. And God has a plan for you too, because God loves you. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God had a plan for Esther, and he has a plan for you. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. God has a plan for us, just like he had a plan for Esther. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! It's always good to have a plan, and God's plan is the best plan. I'll see you next time. Bye! Wow, I really enjoyed listening to that story and doing worship and wiggles with you guys. So, I have something here to help us remember our memory verse. Does anyone remember what it is? It says right here, nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love, Romans 8, 39. And I think the best way to remember this is to draw something that we have used all month long. Lemonade pitcher, that's so fun. What's better than lemonade on a hot summer day? Pretty much nothing. Okay, so I'm going to paint my lemonade pitcher. And the coolest part about this is that it has our memory verse right here. And that's awesome because if you ever forget it, you can just look right at your lemonade pitcher and it's gonna tell you. Okay, so where should I paint the yellow? Where does the lemonade go? Right, it goes inside of the pitcher. So let's fill our pitcher with lemonade. All right, what do you guys think? There's my lemonade pitcher. And the best part, like I said, is that it has our memory verse right here. Should we say it again? Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8:38. Great job painting your lemonade pitcher. Go hang this somewhere where you can always see it. And seeing this lemonade pitcher is gonna remind you that who loves you? That's right, God loves you. All right, I have a really fun thing to do next. And our hands are gonna get really sticky and really messy and we're gonna have so much fun. All right, come on. All right, let's make, drum roll please. That was not a very good drum roll. Um, lemonade slime. Have you guys ever made slime? It's pretty sticky and messy, but we're gonna have a lot of fun. 
So in front of me, I have a recipe for the slime. If you've ever made slime, you know that you have to follow a plan. You have to follow a recipe so that it comes out right. Otherwise, you either have one really hard glob or one that's way too messy and sticky and it's not fun to play with. So I'm gonna follow my plan here and you guys can follow along with me. So the first thing I need is four cups of shaving cream. Ready? Do four cups. Okay, it's about one cup. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, now it says one tablespoon of lemon gelatin. So it says one tablespoon, and then I have to add a tablespoon of warm water. And then once it's dissolved, I get to add it to my shaving cream. This is what's gonna make it lemonade. Okay, I think it's dissolved. Okay, next up is a half of a cup of glue. I'm gonna use this cup because it's already kind of messy. So I need a half of a cup. Whoa. Okay. Ooh. This kind of looks like food. Don't eat it but it looks like whipped cream, right? Woo! This reminds me of marshmallow fluff, but really it's glue and shaving cream. Delicious. Okay, next step is a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Now, it's a saline solution, and this is the slime activator. Whoa! Okay, it says two tablespoons. I'm making quite a bit of a mess here. Two tablespoons. One. A little extra for good measure. And this is what's going to activate the slime! It's working! Whoa! This is so cool! It smells like lemonade! Now what do you guys think? Is it ready to play with? Let's find out if our plan worked. I'm gonna keep mixing. Oh, it says to squeeze a drop or two of saline solution on my hands. That would have helped. This is why it's so important to follow the plan. See, I forgot to put the slime or the saline solution on my hand and it's so messy. So I'm gonna add some. You see how much it helped? It still sticks a little bit, but I think that's just cause I might need some more of this. Now I'm just gonna keep going, following the plan. It just says keep mixing. And if you need more slime or saline solution, you add more. But look at guys, it came clean from the bowl. Can you believe that? This sticky, sticky mess, all it needed was to follow the plan. Look at this slime. How stretchy and fun it is. We followed a plan and it worked. In our story today, we heard all about that, right? How someone has a plan for us. And when we follow that plan, it works, we just have to trust the plan. I'll be honest, when I started making the slime, I was a little bit worried about adding uh, jello and baking soda and shaving cream and glue. What was that gonna give us? But now I have this really fun cloud of slime to play with. That was so awesome. 
It's really important for us to follow God's plan. All right. I had a lot of fun with this one. I hope you guys are able to make this at home. And if not, you can just watch this over and watch me make a mess with the slime. All right, on to our next game. Today we talked about a king and a queen in our Bible story. And now we're gonna play a really fun game. I have a crown in my hands, but I need a king. Hmm, which one of you would like to be the king? Zach, would you like to be the king? Me? Yes. A king? Yeah. Of course. All right, come sit down in your, in your chair. Okay, now I have his crown and I'm gonna hide it underneath his chair. Now, our king is going to hide his eyes. And while he hides his eyes, someone else, I'll do it, will take the crown and he's gonna have to guess who has the crown. Ready? Okay, Zach, go ahead and guess. Sarah, do you have my crown? I do! How did you know? It's magic. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. You can go take a seat. <laughs> that was so much fun. So, God had a plan for Esther, and he has a plan for you, too. Who loves you? God. That's right. God loves you. Hmm, what is this? It says, hey parents, this month our theme is Lemonade Stand. Today, we learned that God loves us and has a plan for us. We're going to make these cups and then your parents can help you follow the directions to make lemonade. That is so fun. And then you can drink it out of your special cup. So in front of me, I have some stickers. Maybe if you have some markers at home, you could draw on a plastic cup and that would be so fun, right? I think I'm gonna choose to put the lemons on my cup because we're making lemonade. So there's one lemon. And another lemon. And you know what else I'm gonna put? I'm gonna put a strawberry because when I go home, I'm gonna make strawberry lemonade. That's so cool. Next, I'm gonna add a lemon into the cup. And there's my lemonade kit. Wow, these cups look awesome. This is gonna be so fun to take home and make lemonade. You can squeeze the lemon into your cup, add water and sugar, and mix it until it dissolves. And then, mmm, sweet, sweet lemonade. I hope you share your lemonade with your family and you all remind each other that God loves you. Who loves you? God, that's right. He loves you so much. Now, I wanna to talk to you about our memory verse. Do you guys remember what it is? Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8.39. Do you remember the movements? Nothing at all can separate us from God's love. Romans 8.39. Wow, you guys sound great. You wanna practice again? Nothing at all can separate us from God's love. Romans 8.39. Ready? Your turn. Great job, you guys sound so awesome. So the memory verse talks about nothing ever separating us from God's love. And in our Bible story, we learned about Esther and how God had a great plan for her. Well, guess what? God has a great plan for you too. No matter what, nothing can separate you from God's love. And God loves you so much that he created a great plan for you. Isn't that so awesome? That makes me so happy. All right, guys, I had so much fun learning about that today. Would you like to pray with me about God's plan for us? Let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you so much for thinking of me and making a plan for my life. I know that no matter what, I will not be separated from your love or your plan. When I grow up, you have my life planned out for me. So thank you, God. You're so awesome and we love you so much. Amen. I had so much fun with you, making slime, doing somersaults, drawing crowns, making jewels. Wow, what a fun day. 
I want you guys to remember that God has a plan for you. And what can separate you from his love? Nothing! That's so cool! All right, guys, I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!